in ancient Hawaii, the sounding of the pu brought people together and heralded the start of an important event. First, toward the North Star, which guides us. Then to the east, the direction of the life-giving sunrise. To the south, where the first Hawaiians sailed from. And finally, the west, where the sun sets, full of wisdom. I think this event brings all the best that Hawaii has to offer. The atmosphere and the mana and energy that is created when all these people come together. A lot of people out there need help, and if they come to this event, that's what start them. Share your emotions, your laughter, your tears. That's what friendship is all about. That's what lantern floating ceremony is all about. I've lived in many places throughout the world and one thing that drew me to this event was the amount of different cultures that came. I was just the average tourist walking past and I thought, wow, I think I need to be part of that. You know, I'm sitting there just weeping, but it feels so good. It, it's just, it really feels human. And I felt like we were all many rivers in one ocean because we all have that in common, is that we've loved someone, lost someone, and know how it feels.
People follow many paths to come here to Ala Moana Beach. More than 50,000 people have joined us tonight. Many rivers, one ocean is the theme of our lantern floating Hawaii ceremony. Aloha and welcome everyone. I'm Dan Cook, again joined by my co-host, Tanya Joaquin. Aloha, Dan. Aloha, everyone. So nice to be with you tonight. Lantern Floating Hawaii 2014 is officiated by Shin Yuen and presented by Nale Aloha Foundation. On Memorial Day, when Americans honor their fallen servicemen and women, we gather to remember and pray for them and also for all of our loved ones and all who have passed on. Since ancient times, lantern floating ceremonies have been observed across many cultures around the world. Shin Yuen's lantern floating Hawaii ceremony was adapted from a traditional expression of gratitude to people who have come before us. The ceremony is open to all who are seeking to deepen their connection with loved ones, past and present, and to kindle courage and hope toward the future. In its 16 years, lantern floating Hawaii has become embraced by many of you as a personal annual tradition. Each year, tens of thousands come together from Hawaii and around the world to take part in this very unique ceremony. Shin Yuen's first Lantern Floating Hawaii ceremony took place in 1999 when Her Holiness Shinzo Ito officiated that ceremony at Keihi Lagoon. Just a few thousand people were in attendance, and from those modest beginnings, the ceremony has grown to become one of our community's most meaningful cultural and spiritual events. Today, Shin Yuen has hosted special ceremonies in locations throughout Asia, Africa, Europe, and North America, bridging international and cultural borders and fostering healing, harmony, and friendship. Like the Lantern Floating Hawaii Ceremony, these observances are offered with deep reverence for local customs and culture, as well as spiritual traditions. At the core is a wish for our hearts to open. When the hearts are open, there's an opportunity to create harmony and diversity. Master Shinjo Ito, founder of Shinyo Buddhism, taught the importance of offering prayers equally for all toward creating harmony and friendship. On his first visit to Hawaii in 1970, one of Master Shinjo's first stops was the USS Arizona Memorial at Pearl Harbor, where he prayed for all who had lost their lives and all who were affected. Reflected in his annual visits to the islands, Master Shinjo felt a deep spiritual connection to Hawaii. He perceived a profound interconnection between the cultural and spiritual values of the Hawaiian people and Shinyo Buddhism. He was especially moved by the innate awareness of ancestral presence and how Hawaiians place great value on expressing reverence, respect, and gratitude for their elders and ancestors through their daily actions. The values expressed in the Lantern Floating Hawaii ceremony are universally understood and embraced. Empathy and compassion are awakened, and our relationships with those past and present are strengthened as we come together for this moment of remembrance to create hope toward the future. Lantern Floating Hawaii speaks to people of all backgrounds, ethnicities, cultures, and ages. Thoughts and prayers from around the globe create a moment of collective remembrance, harmony, and international friendship. Her Holiness Shinzo Ito is a Buddhist master who has garnered worldwide attention and respect as a leader able to inspire harmony across religious, ethnic, and cultural divides. As the head priest of Shen Yuan, she leads by sharing ancient traditions in ways that are relevant in today's modern society. The light of the lanterns that we see before us connect us with our loved ones. Lantern Floating Hawaii is about feeling this connection, a sense of gratitude, and expressing it. The act of floating lanterns symbolizes our intention to put our thoughts into action. As long as we have the desire to act for the sake of others, we can give voice to our hearts through action. The light of the lantern symbolizes wisdom. Water is a symbol of compassion and complements the light of wisdom. Light inspires each of us to attain wisdom to act on our goodness. Then, just as the flowing water allows lanterns to be carried across, water inspires our actions to well out naturally and to give our compassion concrete expression in ways that are genuine. When each of us acts with the spirit of friendship in concrete ways, the realization of peace will not be far ahead. There is a limit to how much one person can do to create a world of friendship 
even if we shout it at the top of our lungs. But imagine what can be accomplished when there are more of us coming together with this aim. As each lantern joins the thousands, each of us joins in a shared experience with many, beginning with the 40,000 here. Our individual act of prayer is transformed into one that is collective. What is felt is this togetherness of being connected. A single lantern will not have the same effect. The beauty of the lanterns is evoked because there are so many. It is in the coming together of each lantern each person extending their warmth to the thoughts of others. As we watch the soft glow of lights before us, it is the same with people. Asserting oneself can only go so far. Our efforts of harmony amid diversity, of mutual recognition and understanding, of nurturing the ability to relate to one another, when expanded, will have a lasting effect. If, by attending today's event, you feel a sense of warmth or fulfillment, if even for a moment, do not let such moments be short-lived. Find a way to make it lasting. Be encouraged and inspired to act in friendship in everyday life. Express your inner warmth through action. Act on the goodness you find in your heart and continue it. Bring out your kindness to the fullest. Practice this as often as you can. And so that you can relive this moment again and again, transform your thoughts into action. And together, we can build a better future for all. The theme for Lantern Floating Hawaii is Many Rivers, One Ocean. We all have a personal journey that leads us, like an individual river, to this ceremony. But in this collective moment of remembrance, we come together in the embrace of the great ocean to support one another. Bridget Nishimura is participating at the Lantern Floating Hawaii ceremony for the eighth time tonight. She is drawn to how this ceremony reflects the unique values and qualities that make Hawaii special. My mom passed away 11 years ago, and you can't describe losing your mom. My mom was my everything. When I came to my first lantern ceremony seven years ago, even with all of these thousands of people on the beach, everybody's just in that mode. They're here respectfully. And I think you can feel that from one end of this beach all the way to the other. One of my favorite things about the event is feeling the kinship for everybody. You feel such a closeness and such a bond, and you're willing to share your shade. You're willing to share your Sharpie to ride on the lantern. You're willing to share water if somebody needs. You share so much and your your barriers are down. You don't feel like you have to be fake for anybody. You don't feel like you have to hide your tears or your feelings. And everybody is here for the same reason and everybody's here for the right reason. Life is so busy and it's so fast and everybody gets so caught up in this rat race of life. This event gives everybody that opportunity to kind of settle down, to take that quiet moment. And I think a lot of people sometimes don't know how to share their feelings with those that have departed, and this really allows them that time. I think the most special part to me is when I'm allowed to walk down to that water, and I get about knee high, and I, I float my lantern, and I watch it until I can't see it anymore. It just is such an incredible feeling of closeness to my mom. And there's just such a peace that comes over me. And I just feel like my mom is standing right there with me. Aloha Kako. I'd like for you to meet a gentleman who feels that lantern floating is a community event and it feels that strength can be offered to as well as gained from those who surround you. Please meet Squire Coldwell. 
My first experience with a lantern phoning ceremony uh, was in 2011. My father had passed away about a month earlier in April. His passing was pretty sudden for us. Definitely uh, something that weighed heavy on me. We got our lanterns and sat down at the table to write. Uh, I had to stop. This was a very emotional process for me. I finally just kind of paused and looked around and saw all the other people around me going through the same things I was. I wasn't alone in this and they weren't alone in what they were feeling. It gave me the strength to kind of finish that note I was trying to write. Experiencing this event with so many other people, you're not there alone, shouldering the burden all by yourself, you know, feeling that pain. You're there sharing the pain with everybody else and understanding what they feel and you want to give them some of your love and strength. At the very end of the day, we had that moment where we floated the lanterns. And when he came back, <laughs> he was smiling. And that smile meant the world to me. To have that experience at that time in my life was uh, is something that I really needed at that time. It was definitely a day of healing. Because of what the ceremony did for me, me and my wife uh, went back the following year and volunteered for them. I want to be able to give that experience to others, you know, and want other people to have that same healing process that I went through. I, I just couldn't think of a better way of, of giving back to other people. The Makaha Sons are among the very best in Hawaiian music. Beautiful harmonies and creative compositions that blend the best of old and new traditions. They embody the most genuine spirit of aloha in their music. They are certainly one of the premier Hawaiian music groups of all time. But these past couple of years haven't been the easiest for Moon, Jerome, and Eric, as longtime member John Kapuolani Koko passed away. He will long be remembered.
Parent lanterns are being brought to the stage. These lanterns hold prayers, prayers for those who died in wars or by disease or natural disasters, prayers for the suffering and those in need, for all who have come before us. Her Holiness Shinzo Ito now enters the ceremonial area, supported by the prayers of the ceremonial attendants. The parent lanterns carry prayers for all living beings from time immemorial. Prayers are offered for those who first settled the Hawaiian Islands and even for extinct flora and fauna. And now, Her Holiness Shinso Ito, Head Priest of Shinyuan. Aloha. Rantan Rooting, Yokoso. Naki. Kazakoya 
祈りを手向けるメモリアルデーに灯籠流しを開催できますこと、本式典名誉会長のホノルル市長、コールドウェル様、ハワイ州副知事、筒井様をはじめ、ゲストの皆様に熱く御礼申し上げます。また、運営スタッフ、ボランティアの方々、ありがとうございます。本式典は、過去、現在、未来の命が一つにつながり、幸せを感じる特別な機会です。新女園改装新庄は人のつながりにより自らの行いを見出せと教えます。思い浮かべてください。皆に命を紡いできたソレ、文明を築き上げた先人たち、そして万物を育む豊かな自然の恵みにその歴史の営みを受け私たちはこの命があり存在しています灯籠の火を灯すとは無料の御霊に感謝を表すことです灯籠の明かりを通してここに集う皆様もインスパイアされ心の中に光が呼び覚まされます心の光すなわち良き個性に気づき大切にし可能性を開くことそれは人の幸せを願い身近なところから温かさ、優しさを広げていけば、より大きな光となります。故に、お互いの信頼は深まり、友の心でつながる幸せを感じることができます。本日のテーマは、ミニリバース・ワン・オーシャン。一つ一つの灯籠の明かりは小さくともお互いを認め強調するとき多様なままに輝く美しい光となりますブッダ最後の経典ネハ行に如来不思議の光は世界を包むと示されますあまねく命人と自然の幸せそこにあらもなビーチで私たちは友として結ばれたならば勇気ある行動を起こすことができますでしょうこの勇気力強い心で未来を照らす希望の灯火となってまいりましょうマハロムインロア Her Holiness Shinso Ito Head Priest of Shinyuan The light of fire dispels the darkness of greed, anger, and ignorance. The light can spark the courage and wisdom that is in each one of us to act altruistically for others in the spirit of friendship. We welcome these community leaders to gather together to light the light of harmony. I think for all of us, we all have lost someone who has really inspired us or who has really made an impact on our lives. And to see All of these different individuals and families together in one place showing that respect, it's hard to put in words. 
it was very emotional for us to have an opportunity to be able to send these heartfelt messages. It allowed us to, to feel like we were actually communicating with them. It's not all sadness, by the way. It's more um, a spiritual type of, of feeling. You pick it up from each other. Through that, there's this connectedness that we all have as human beings. It's brought together at this very special ceremony. It really bodes to, to show how we can really become in harmony with each other because we're all there for the same purpose. And it's a very solemn and, and a very humbling experience. When people are together in that way, connecting, there is harmony, there is love, there is sharing, understanding. We are all in one be connecting. And it transcends any religious tradition, and it transcends the color of our skin, our gender identity and expression, our sexual orientation. It brings together people from diverse backgrounds, knowing that we are sharing one common human experience. And how could we show compassion to each other? And how can we come together to shine a light to one another? It's a festival of oneness unity, understanding, friendship. This yushin, which translates to friendship, I think that's a, a great term to use to describe how powerful this ceremony is. Love that knows no bounds, that welcomes everyone as brothers and sisters. That's the spirit I see in this lantern floating away. We are here too often nowadays. We uh, justify dividing ourselves. Brothers fighting brothers. So the idea of Yushin actually tears down those barriers and it makes us take a deeper look into who we really are. And when we do that, we realize that that separation is really an illusion. Uh, I think that's something that we sorely and dearly need more in our daily lives as uh, we are right now faced with some very interesting and difficult challenges, not only in the local community or personally in our lives, but it all encompasses, uh, especially for me in what I do for a living. By lighting this light of peace together, we can go beyond uh, whatever divides us. And if we try to build these bridges that you talk about when you describe Yushin, I think we will have a, a better world. And each of us by ourselves, by us changing, by each of us carrying forward this concept of Yushin, I think we do change the world. Please light the light of harmony.
You may now begin floating your lanterns. Please be mindful of others around and behind you.
Shinyuan Shomyo Ensemble offers traditional Buddhist prayers in a Western classical arrangement. Her Holiness offers a blessing of the lanterns, the ceremonial area, all who are being remembered, and all whose thoughts and prayers are united in this ceremony. The blessing awakens hope, wisdom, and compassion in our hearts and inspires courage to act in the spirit of friendship and kindness for others. The ritual offering of rice and water is centuries old. It represents gratitude and the sustaining of life. During this Onjiki ceremony, priests offer food and drink to symbolically nourish those who over countless generations contributed to our lives as they are today. Offering gifts as symbols of reverence, respect, and gratitude to those who laid the foundation for our lives is a tradition that holds deep cultural significance here in Hawaii and many places around the world. ritual, flowers are scattered along the path of the lanterns as they are carried to the ocean. Mm -hmm. 
The parent lanterns are filled with prayers for the peace and happiness of all, past, present, and future. Harmony and warmth radiate outward from the light of each lantern, like ripples on the water. Earlier today, people picked up the lanterns and wrote heartfelt remembrances and prayers for loved ones. In that moment of connection, there is gratitude and hope. is entitled Many Rivers, One Ocean, the theme of Lantern Floating Hawaii. Each of us is on a personal journey like individual rivers, but here we together with those being remembered are all received in the warm, borderless ocean of friendship, harmony, and healing. The light of the lanterns symbolize the goodness within us and inspires us to light the way for others. Through viewing the lanterns, we awaken to the special qualities that make us who we are 
and become filled with courage to let that uniqueness shine and give hope to many.
Thank you for joining us tonight for the Lantern Floating Hawaii 2014 ceremony. Shinyuen and Nale Aloha Foundation would like to express their gratitude to all of you and to the many volunteers who contribute time and effort to make this community event possible. A special mahalo to our volunteers who will be retrieving each and every lantern out there in the ocean. Lanterns will be handled with respect and care and refurbished for next year's ceremony. For Billy V, Tanya Joaquin, this is Dan Cook. Aloha, ahui ho, and good night.